it's Lisa, founder of Little With Great Love, and I'm grateful. I'm coming to you from one of the places that I am grateful for, and that's our patio and our backyard here in Austin, Texas. It's just this peaceful little place. Um, I've got my plants and um, I hear the birds and everything out here. It's a beautiful day. So I just wanted to be in one of my grateful spots to be able to share a couple things that I am grateful for um, this time of year. So it's of course my family, my husband, and I'm really grateful for you. I'm grateful that I can be in this ministry that I feel God called us to. Uh, a little over a year ago after my dad passed away, I was dreaming and seeking the Lord about what he desired. And he called for this space, Little With Great Love. I reached out to some dear people in my life that he had placed on my heart, and they said yes. And here we are over a year later, um, doing this great work together um, to try to bring healing, to share our stories, and to create a space where we could talk about these type of things. So it's beautiful to be able to see um, God just working through our dreams and bringing together this community of people that can talk about healing, restoration, and our hearts, homes, and health. So that's a lot of my top of my list, and I'd love to hear what you're grateful for as well. So I hope you guys will drop some comments and let us know so that we can really cultivate gratitude. It really does make a difference um, with our health and in our hearts and our spirits and with the people around us. And I'm so grateful for laughter. It's just one of my favorite things to do is to laugh and to bring joy to other people. So I hope that this little montage will bring some joy to you and I'm grateful for you. Hey guys, Tammy here, one of the contributors with Little With Great Love. So grateful to be able to share with you my thoughts on gratitude. And um, there, I have so much to be thankful for. But I want to begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God, I thank you for Little With Great Love. I thank you for being able to share my heart with all of the women and men who are part of this journey, part of this restoration, Lord, part of the work that you're doing to just draw others into your heart. I thank you, Lord, for this platform to be able to share you. Amen. So, happy November. You know, we've gone through a, a couple of hard months here, and now we're in the month of Thanksgiving. We're in the month that we really take a second to honor the year to be grateful for all of the joy and all of the struggle that we've had this year and uh, COVID's been a really interesting year um, for me personally and just for the world for everything that's going on but it's with a grateful heart um, that I say I'm, I'm so thankful for my hip replacement surgery that I had in January and the new life that it has given me, um, the new health, a, uh, a pain-free existence, which I at one point thought impossible. I'm grateful for the women in Little With Great Love that I have come to know, that I'm journeying with, um, that I'm kind of finding my own room in, uh, in the houses of their heart, that I'm able to um, make friendships with women who I didn't know before. I'm grateful for this platform where I can use my heart and my giftings in speaking and writing to really um, draw others to the heart of Christ. I'm grateful for a loving husband. We will celebrate uh, 20 years this coming summer and we have five beautiful children. And um, coming from a person who struggled with fertility for the first three years of our marriage. Uh, the idea of having five children um, at one point in my life just seemed impossible. So I'm so grateful for that. I'm so grateful for the life that I'm able to share with my husband. And I'm grateful for being here with you. Hey everyone, it's Alyssa from Little With Great Love. I am so excited to be sharing with you guys what I'm grateful for because I live every day trying to be grateful for everything that happens, even the bad things that happen. So I am so grateful this year, even though it was a tough year for my family, 
and for being able to spend time with them during quarantine, especially my siblings before they had to leave to college. So I was so happy to be able to spend a closer amount of time with them, even though it meant we were in quarantine. I'm so grateful that I still have a job after quarantine and everything that has happened through the pandemic. I am so grateful for the opportunities I have uh, through being in school, uh, studying my master's, and being able to work with a bunch of different professionals. I am so grateful for all the opportunities I have through school. I'm also grateful for my boyfriend that he has treated me so nicely and he is like my Prince Charming and he treats me like a princess so I'm so grateful for him. I'm grateful for everyone at Little With Great Love, my whole team. I've never really had like a group of women who are able to support each other so nicely, so caring and so amazing. So these women are so great and I am so grateful to be a part of their team and to call them my friends. So thank you guys for letting me share with you and hope you have a blessed day, blessed week, and happy Thanksgiving. Hi everybody, this is Bridget. I um, am flying out of my comfort zone today and I am coming to you live from my living room wearing a little bit of great love on my actual body. I don't know if you can tell. Being 5'10", I'm not exactly a little with great love, but... Uh, I'm not so little with great love, let's just say that. So I'm here just to tell you about what I'm grateful for um, as a contribution to our Thanksgiving post. First, I am uh, really grateful for the healing that Little With Great Love has brought into my life. Um, I had not been able to blog for about seven years after I got back from Haiti. Um, just, just the emotion of coming back into the country and dealing with kind of the, the uh, spiral of emotions and um, built up wounds from Haiti and before had kind of paralyzed me. So um, when I took Lisa's invitation to become a contributor, I was pretty hesitant and I wondered if I'd be able to actually do it. Uh, but writing has been a tremendous blessing for me and I certainly hope that it's been a blessing for all of you as well. Uh, if you hear the two hooligans in the background, those are my dogs, and most of the time I'm grateful for the two of them. They actually bring a lot of joy and levity into my life, um, definitely keep me entertained and keep me exercising. Um, I'm grateful to be here in Austin, uh, real close to my good friend Lisa. We hadn't seen each other for about a decade uh, until last year when um, she happened to be driving through Albuquerque, New Mexico, where I lived. and. Um, texted me let's get together for dinner and it was the best um, one of the best reunions I've had and certainly kind of opened my heart to uh, the possibility of moving somewhere new which needed to happen so I'm grateful for being here I'm grateful for um, the job that I have it's a tough job but it's a great job and I get to really sit really kneel um, in the trenches with my patients and their families and from my own personal experience as a patient, I'm able to really glean and I hope minister to them in ways that um, that might be different than perhaps their experience with another nurse. So you should know that um, being on video is really uncomfortable for me. I prefer to be behind the scenes or behind the camera, uh, but it's been a really uncomfortable year for a lot of us and our realities or normalcies have been just thrown completely to the side and we've had to make real significant adjustments on a daily or even almost on a momentary basis and I just want to encourage all of you that there are things to be grateful for small things big things I'm grateful to be employed which I know may be a real significant issue for a lot of folks um, I'm grateful to be surrounded near and far um, by good friends who are encouraging and edifying me. I'm grateful for the challenges that this year has brought in terms of really looking internally, um, identifying who I am, um, looking at my beliefs and uh, kind of examining them and really knowing why I believe what I believe. Um, 
So I hope that this Thanksgiving you are able to um, experience goodness, experience um, peace and safety, um, and that you all remain healthy, um, particularly during this time when your traditions may look a little bit different than, than in previous years. I wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving, and I encourage you to reach out to any of us um, in the coming days and weeks. We're going to be presenting more, more real cool interactive stuff, um, and we really want to create an interactive group with all of you where we can really minister to each other, us to you, and you to us as well. So, happy Thanksgiving. Hi, I'm Michelle Hilliard. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Hilliard. Jacqueline Hilliard, and... We are so great. I'm so grateful for the life that God has given us in this house with these children, these spirited children who bring us such joy. Um, wanted to get my little Jack Jack in here for my gratitude video because she's she's my crazy one. Um, probably most like me. But anyway, I am so grateful this Thanksgiving season. I love this great Thanksgiving season um, because it, it draws us back into that sense of gratitude. And of course, like in uh, St. Catherine of Siena, our Lord says to St. Catherine of Siena, he's like, if you want to wish to be cured, do these three things. And the very first one is commit to memory every blessing. And I was just like, oh wow, it's one of three things we have to do to be pure. So like, okay, commit to memory every blessing. So we spend a lot of time in our house being grateful um, for everything, for the little things, like when we're going to bed, just counting the blessings, you know, just saying, Lord, thank you for um, my uh, husband or my daughter who brought me a cup of coffee, or for the smiles, or for the many art drawings and pictures that you make for me, which I love, or um, just going throughout the day, grateful for the encounters we have, and when we find that what we found is by living a life of gratitude has changed our outlook on life to be more happy and be happier and to be really just focused on the blessings. So um, this Thanksgiving, I'm just grateful. I'm grateful for family. I'm grateful for God opening the eye of understanding to understand more ways to grow united with him and uh, just living that life that he's called us to. So grateful, grateful, grateful. Mwah. All right. Love you guys. Hope you have a happy Thanksgiving and a wonderful, wonderful Thanksgiving season and holiday season too. With Christmas coming up and Advent and all those amazing uh, ways that we can prepare our hearts for Christ's birth come December. Have an amazing day. Hey. Hey y'all, Danielle here, a little with great love and take a few minutes to just share with you things I'm grateful for. Um, this has been a really crazy uh, year, past few years for me where I have taken some leaps in my life that I would never have taken uh, otherwise. And through that, God has shown me some amazing things. Um, mostly that when I give up a little bit more slack in my life, um, slack that I other, are, parts of my life that I would have otherwise wanted to control, that he can then take those parts and do something bigger, mightier, and crazier than I could have done on my own. So I'm just, I'm so thankful that God keeps showing me that he is good and that he has a plan for my life, that he's creative. If I'll let him, he'll do something totally abnormal, outrageous, and beautifully miraculous in my life. Um, I'm grateful for a Little With Great Love, this community of women uh, who have opened their hearts to share uh, with me and all of us and um, and their thoughts and their words. I'm grateful for you for um, just letting us come into your hearts and share with you what's in ours. I'm grateful for my dog who I adopted this year who has been such a, a blessing and a, an extra warm body in, in my house. He's such a joy. I'm grateful to my boyfriend who's so thoughtful and um, just uh, continues to surprise me in small things um, that matter that matter so much, like bringing me fl fresh flowers and uh, cooking special meals for me. I'm grateful for family and friends who continue to show their love and support. and. Um, just grateful to God and all of you. So praise God and um, let's be more grateful. 
Hey y'all, Kelly Davis here. I just wanted to share a couple of things that I'm grateful for. Um, more than anything else, I'm so incredibly grateful for God's mercy. I need God's mercy. Without God's mercy, I would be in big trouble. And so um, all of us would, right, without Jesus. So um, I'm so grateful that God never gives up on us. That is number one. Number two is I'm grateful for God's word um, and this beautiful decorated Bible that makes the word so personal to me. Um, I'm grateful for Mary and that we have the rosary to protect us with spiritual warfare. I'm grateful also for um, barbecue plate lunches because I had one just now and I think I got something stuck in my tooth. But that anyway, that was really fantastic. And um, I'm also grateful for um, masks. You know, like we have decorative masks. This one is from my job, Beneficat Travel, um, where we take pilgrims to holy places. And um, I'm grateful to have a job. Very grateful to have a job. I've had a time when I didn't have a job and I'm grateful to have one now. I'm also grateful for the Christian Service Center, if you can see back there. Um, that's the soup kitchen, the community diner that, um, that my husband and I have been managing for the last couple of years and now he's doing that and I'm working at Minificon. But anyway, um, it's, learned, it's where I learned about God's generosity and um, how important it is to um, to live that, there's a fruit of the Spirit that comes out of us, right? As a, it's, a, it's a fruit of the Holy Spirit. So to be able to receive God's gifts and also to give God's gifts. So um, I just want to encourage you to be reminded of how much God loves you and uh, no sin that you've ever committed is greater than His mercy. Number one and number two, how is God calling you to give? Um, because your gift can be a total blessing to somebody else. So I'm so grateful that God's given so much to me and also to give to others. So hope that is great. See y'all soon. Bye.